KHOU 11 News at 6 starts now. You've already had two calls this morning with uh, a child being locked inside of a vehicle. When it gets this hot out, a car becomes a death trap. First responders standing for Houston by putting themselves in the hot seat for a demonstration you need to see. We'll get to that in a moment. But Blake, man, it is hot out there. Yeah, it certainly is. Check out our high temperatures for today. 95 degrees so far up there at Bush Intercontinental Airport. Our normal high for this time of year, 90. So we're quite a bit above average. These temperatures will cool down back into the 80s by the time we get to about midnight, but still very, very warm for this time of year. Check out the current temperatures right now. 96 still in Conroe, 97 in Brenham, 94 in Sugarland, and 87 degrees down there on Galveston Island. Feels like numbers right now flirting with the dangerous category of 105, 104 at Bush, 106 in Conroe, 102 at Hobby. Galveston just now falling under the century mark at 99 degrees. It is going to be a very warm next couple of days, Ron. In fact, we're looking at dangerous heat indices all the way through the weekend and heading into next week. All right, thank you so much, right. Blake. And Harris County says the calls are already coming in. At least two cases of kids or pets being trapped in hot cars. Melissa Correa showing us how first responders gave us a demonstration today, Melissa. Hey there, Ron. Yeah, literally, they climbed into an SUV just like this one, white in color with window tint and more space than your average car. And they sat in this SUV at 11 a.m., well before Houston gets really hot. Hey, let us know when uh, you guys turn off the uh, air conditioning and uh, we'll start the timer. You're ready. All right, I'm cutting the engine. If you're in the no corners cut here. At 11.08 a.m., two Cyfair firefighters and two Harris County employees. Everybody give a thumbs up if you're okay. We're good. We're okay. Hope to save lives with this real-time PSA. The AC, the coolness was gone instantly. 111. It's 111. Yep. Within minutes, it was so hot. This is an iPhone 10, and so it's dead. Their technology turned off, and the amount of sweat turned up. It feels like it's suffocating you at this yeah, point. Imagine what a kid feels like. Yeah, that's the hard part. Uh, so I can imagine it's pretty toasty in there. Thumbs oh, up. There Everybody are. thumbs yeah. up. Firefighters and ambulances were on standby and parents who happened to be at this Copperfield Home Depot held their breath. 30 minutes and you hear about little uh, infants and toddlers for hours and hours and hours. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's scary. Dash is showing 147 degrees and you can see again I'm out here in the breeze and sweating, so. so inside, even away from the dash and with window tint, temperatures reached 130 degrees. And that was it. Uh, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Look at these guys. The four volunteers went straight to an ambulance, and as vitals were checked, fluids came in by the bottle and IV. Then reality set in. And these are kids that can't help themselves. You, I mean, they're put in the situation. They can't get out. Your pets can't get out. Stop thinking about yourself. Start thinking about others. And so it's only June 2nd, right? Houston will get hotter as the summer moves closer. And so this evening, first responders are saying, do whatever you can to remind yourself to look in the back seat if you're uh, moving kids or pets in your car. They say anything from your wallet to cell phone, toss that in the back. And if that doesn't work for you, literally take off one of your shoes and throw it back in the car. That way, when you get out, you literally have to look in the back seat. They say anything you can do to double check these kids and not only parents guys because the other cases we see often involve daycare workers or summer camps kids left in those buses and so this evening just a warning a reminder to double triple check the head count of those children and under the seats of those vehicles before you lock up those cars ron thank you melissa our verified team wanted to know what happens if you see a child or dog locked in a hot car. Are you allowed to break the window to get them out? Our legal expert, Gerald Tree, says in Texas, if you broke the window, you'd face civil liability and could be sued for the cost of the window. Lawmakers considered a bill during their past session that would have exempted Good Samaritans, but it didn't pass. So we can verify technically you're not allowed to break the window, but there's a good chance you'll be able to avoid punishment if it's done to save a life. Do you have something you want verified? Email us at verify at khou.com or hit us up on Facebook or Twitter.
Must see new video of an alleged drunk driver going the wrong way on the Pierce Elevated this morning, moments before causing a crash. A driver shared this scary dash cam video. Watch the left lane as cars have to swerve out of the way. There are just seconds to work with here to realize what's happening and then react. Moments later, that car slammed into two other cars downtown near the West Dallas exit. One of those drivers she hit is in the hospital in critical condition right now. The wrong way driver had only minor injuries. Deputies are also looking into a deadly fall from an overpass in Northwest Harris County. We're told a driver got out of his car after a crash and fell off the San Houston Parkway. The other passengers had left the scene by the time police got there. New tonight, dozens of rallies and marches are happening across the country. Everyone wearing orange in a unified call to end gun violence here in Houston. Teachers, students, parents and activists all gathered for a remembrance at Finnegan Park in East Houston. Yesterday was National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Some of the survivors from Santa Fe spoke to the crowd with messages of encouragement, including Bree Butler who just graduated yesterday. She says this year has been devastating, but together they pulled through. We made it through Harvey and a lockdown and snow days and a citywide water outage. You know, like there's so much that happened. Our senior year is crazy. We call ourselves the cursed class <laughs> and we did it. Crime stoppers and gun safety educators were also there offering free classes and advice to families. The seniors of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, graduated today. News cameras were not allowed inside. 17 people were shot and killed at the school in February. Four of them were seniors. Speakers at the event called it a healing moment. Just yesterday, Santa Fe High School held its graduation ceremony. Administrators and students wore white stoles in honor of the victims. They also honored first responders who rushed in to help. Between Santa Fe and Hurricane Harvey, Galveston County has been through a lot this year, and one church has found a colorful way to lift spirits. Matt Doherty is live from St. George's Episcopal Church in Texas City with a closer look now. Hey, Matt. Hey, Ron. Yeah, it sounds like such a simple idea, but these wooden blocks have really turned out to be such a source of inspiration for so many people who've struggled over the last nine months or so. Undoubtedly, many of them have been left questioning their faith in humanity. But here at St. George's, parishioners and volunteers have been busy painting. These simple wooden blocks are transformed into a one-word affirmation, hope. Church members have been making the signs for the victims of Hurricane Harvey to post outside of their homes for several months now. Now in the wake of the Santa Fe shootings, new signs of hope are being made for the residents of the city that's 15 miles away. Coming up tonight at 10, we're going to have a talk with the, uh, with the pastor of this church here at St. George's Episcopal in Texas City and find out some of the effects this has had on some of those affected people. We'll see if it's working. That's tonight at 10, but for now we're live in Texas City, standing for Houston. Matt Doherty, KHU 11 News. Thank you, Matt.